controls progress. Um, zealots are coming in here. Anti-gravity is going up. Anti-gravity is a channeling spell, but it does take that immortal out of the fight. Um, uh, la, 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 la. It looks like Red is... His zealots are doing some serious damage to the front of the base. Um, I think Blue will be able to hold it off once this immortal lands, because I don't think the phoenixes will have any more anti-gravity. Yeah. Cleans up the Zealots, takes out a Phoenix, charges it, but at what cost? Uh, the robotic support, the robotics facility is gone. His tech is slowed, and obviously, Jessica Jung does what any good player does after a small victory. He widens the gap by expanding. That's a that's an important tip: is expanding timing. Um, you don't want to typically you don't want to expand if you both have equal armies and you don't know who's going to win the next clash. Because you might be out harassing, and then their expansion gets taken out. I mean, sometimes you have to expand. I understand that, but it's all like it's kind of like the expansion is your reward for winning, winning a battle. Because while they're rebuilding their forces, you get a nice fat economy boost, and it really puts you ahead of the game. In control knows about the expansion now, so at least there's that. Um, it's not com it's not completely oblivious to its existence. I'm sure he had a pretty solid guess what was going downwind. The pressure didn't keep up. Three more phoenixes patrolling around looking for expansions. Um, this is on the map in Metalopolis, by the way. Very cool map. Everything is on top of these buildings. Like the CEO of uh, this corporation here, FED Global Elite Control. He was like, all right, let's plant grass on top of all of our skyscrapers. And uh, it's weird, there's like natural gas fissures coming up from under the earth all the way up through our skyscrapers and pop it out right of the roof. That's really quite interesting, but hey, it's the cyberpunk future, you know, you don't know what's going on. Still a cool map though. Cool statues and stuff. Who puts a statue on top of their skyscraper? Rich people. But you can see, you know, I want to live, like, right right in this apartment right here. I think that would be cool. I could look up and see phoenixes blasting away, colossi rumbling around on the rooftops. Okay. Blue's coming in with control. Uh, in control's coming in with colossi, and he's got the shields up for the uh, cannons. Immortal stalker zealots. Pure zealot army, no charge for Jessica Jung. Uh, phoenixes come in. Need to anti-grav. There we go. Takes the Immortals out of the fight. Uh, but the Colossus... Like I said, man, Colossus is good. Uh, um, yeah. So it looks like this expansion is going to get taken out. Um, Colossus is eating up the probes. Phoenix, Phoenix is trying to... Uh, trying to slow down, and it looks like it's working, actually. The uh, Nexus is still up. Still got a decent amount of probes. He might deflect this. It's the use of uh, the Graviton Beam. Anti I think it's called Graviton Beam. Yeah, it is. Wow. I was right. Um, trying to... I mean, trying to hold this off desperately. In the meantime, look what's going on over here. In control is using his distraction to put down his expansion. And the Stalkers, two Stalkers and a Colossus get in here. And, uh, oh, but a Colossus comes down for uh, Jessica Jung. So it looks like he might be able to hold this off. A very intense battle for ground happening outside of this expansion. More Zealots coming in. Really needs to take care of this Colossus. Like, you might, I would say, just suicide some units and get rid of that damn thing because... That's just me. And it uh, looks like this Nexus will go down. So, in control takes control back. Whoa, BJ's. BJ's clam shack. Under a ramp. BJ's. Okay, uh, so he lost his expansion here. Two Colossi, two Phoenixes, and a bunch of Zealots. Do they have charge yet? I mean, I really... There it is. The Twilight Council. Damn it. That's what it's called. 
Okay, so he's going to try and reestablish his uh, expansion here. Fat economy going for blue now uh, in control. You can see here he's at 85 food and he has an expansion up. Um, bit of a clash happening here? No. Okay. Uh, let's look at the income. Yeah, I see 971 minerals and 350 gas coming in for blue. That's a pretty big step up. He's got 50 harvesters. Uh, zealots coming in here. Uh, these forces are at a big disadvantage right now. Okay, so he backs off. Good call. So, red is trying to catch up because he knows he's behind. Um, charge is almost finished. That's going to be a big factor against the stalkers. Uh, lots of stalkers going in. Uh, one zero upgrades for the Protoss units on red. Um, no upgrades for the units uh, for red here. Sorry, blue is 1-0. Okay, and a big clash here. Uh, charge finishes and he uh, surrounds the stalkers. Graviton memes these stalkers here. Two colossi are going to rip this up. Very good. Ch I, I can't emphasize enough how good charge is. Like, it really makes zealots a uh, an end game unit. Um, and yeah, now this expansion. So these guys are just trading expansions, and uh, this is a great game. Uh, Colossi is standing, Stalker's coming down, but these Zealots are going to put the space between this Colossi and the Stalkers. No, they're not. A few got around, took down that Colossi. And the Colossi's up for in control. Expansion's going down. Let's see what's building. Not much. Okay, so again, now this expansion's gone and this one's up, so let's take a look at the income. Look at that. Blue is officially starved out. Does he have... No, he does not have enough for a Nexus. And that is why this game only has 15 seconds left, because of that, for right there. Otherwise, they would have kept trading expansions, I think, but Jessica Jung pulls this one out with some excellent expansion timing. Um, yeah, that was a good game. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. This is SaharaDrakovessiLegacy.com, and I'll see you next time.